Keith Herring is a young artist who specializes in graffiti. The work has always somehow been really connected to music, and I, and I think in general music and art and dance are one thing. I mean, it's all sort of interrelated, interconnected. This is Keith Haring's totem. Throughout his career, he was inspired and interested in nature and civilizations and early iconography. You did those? Yeah, they're, um, the images on them make them look like they could have been found in Egypt or something. It represents both life and death, the sarcophagus shape. Is a representative of the mortality of man. It's like a memento mori. On the flip side, there's a celebration of life, one that Keith Haring lived to the full. Oh, we, we hear the word graffiti, we, we immediately think of obscenities that are written on walls, you know. You don't write obscenities on the walls. Um, no. <laughs> you, you don't have to know anything about art to appreciate it or to look at it. There aren't any um, hidden secrets or, or um, things that you're supposed to understand. And that's the CBS Evening News for this Wednesday. Dan Rather reporting from New York. Thank you for joining us. Good night.